member states agreed that a summit this year is essential for world leaders to get together and decide on the future of our multilateral system with the UN at its core and many of the things that we've already as the international community committed um, to. The summit is going to be an intergovernment, is going to end up in an intergovernmentally agreed and action-oriented pact for the future. In working in Guyana, I'm very cognizant of not using these big, you know, laden words in pact for the future, ills of humanity, addressing all these big things. But it really is at the core, a pact for the future that allows the multilateral system with the UN at its core, the rules-based system, to survive the many, many, many um, arising challenges. Um, from artificial intelligence, to climate change, to human rights, to old and new um, challenges um, that, that face humanity. There is an urgent need for the summit. But also we are seeing a growing mistrust among nations right now. We're living in a very, very polarized world. And there are lots of concerns about global peace and security. Um, we have more conflicts in the world today than we've seen since World War II more. This is not a very good place uh, to be. But also there's a deeper recognition, I would say, because of the other issues I mentioned, that some of our institutions are not fit for purpose. Um, and you talk about the global financial architecture, uh, some of our financial institutions, some of the institutions of the UN, like the Security Council, um, and also a real concern about the kind of future we will bequeath to those coming after us, what kind of planet we would leave for them. And it is in this context that the Summit of the Future will be held. Uh, President uh, Ali uh, um, is going to attend the Summit of the Future and he would certainly be, be speaking more on not just our priorities, but also what um, we see as, as some of the, the challenges and what we are doing um, as a country.